Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and I'm here with TV Stuff Reviews and today I'm going to be doing a comparison. Today I'm going to be testing two compression shirts for working out. One is from Sweat Shaper. I did a video sort of like this where I compared Hot Shapers to Funny Girl, also both compression shirts. Um, you can check that video out. Both of these compression shirts claim to accelerate fat burning by allowing you to sweat more during your workout. This is the generic neoprene compression shirt. This design um, doesn't allow you to not wear it with something underneath. You definitely need a sports bra because it comes way below your breast. Um, and it's also a much thicker material. So um, I wouldn't suggest wearing anything underneath it or over it. I just worked out with a sports bra and this. It definitely made me sweat more. However, um, this is not the most flattering thing to wear during a workout. It's also not so comfortable just because you do kind of feel like stuck in a box, if you will. And then this is the packaging for my sweat shaper. And then this is the sweat shaper out of the box. Um, the inside is 100% polyurethane. It's a much thinner fabric and it looks like it could be like a little bit more flattering. It definitely comes up a little higher, so you could probably wear this with no sports bra underneath, but I'm not sure. It definitely has a more feminine and like flattering look. Um, I could definitely see myself wearing this, you know, to a yoga class or just to go work out because it is a lot thinner and it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a compression shirt. It just looks like a regular workout top. All right, so I got both of my compression shirts ready to go and we're gonna hit the gym and get sweating. So I'm going to be showing you guys my workout side by side. On the left, I'm wearing the generic compression shirt and on the right I'm wearing my sweat shaper. As you can see the sweat shaper is definitely a more form-fitting look, definitely a lot more flattering than the generic brand. And I just did a lot of cardio today just so I would build up a sweat so I did 50 jumping jacks. high knee runs I did 10 burpees and then held a minute plank and then I did some mountain climbers. From this super quick workout, I built up a bit of a sweat. Um, in the generic shirt, I didn't sweat any more than usual. And then in my sweat shaper, I was shocked to see that there were actual drops of sweat and you could see them really clearly on the polyurethane material. So after that workout, as you can see, I did the same workout twice in both shirts and I sweat a ton more in the sweat shaper. Like, I lifted up my shirt and I was drenched. And it didn't feel like I was sweating the whole time I was working out. Um, as you can see, it's a much more fitted look and I could definitely see myself wearing that on a regular basis to my workout classes. The Sweat Shaper is also machine washable and it dries fast because of the material. But yeah, I am really impressed with my Sweat Shaper. So I'm going to have to give Sweat Shaper a five out of five stars just because it is, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It does everything that Hot Shaper claims, but also on top of that, it's flattering and it like, I feel cute in it as opposed to wearing like this boxy workout shirt. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more As Seen on TV products and reviews. Be sure to check out tvstuffreviews.com for all of the products that we talk about on this channel and more. You can follow me personally at That Girl Claude's on all of my social media is always linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for another review. Bye!